fueled by DeathCast. But then the question is, how do you do that? Because you got to remember, we've been flying in space for 50 years, and and the only way to get your your beverages, both Russian and U.S. and European and everybody that's gone into space, it's sucking through a straw uh, from a bag. And this is where the second part of the invention was essential. And that had to do with surface chemistry. Thades that I had learned in college in my surface chemistry classes, where I was sitting in the back of the room and my professor probably thought I was sleeping and maybe I really was sleeping, but something subliminally soaked into my brain. And so there I was on station wanting to have something other than a bag. And then I remembered some of my surface chemistry and that's how I came up with this. Wow. So, So this is the first generation zero G coffee cup. And I made this on space station. I made this uh, from a piece of plastic that I was able to snag from some of our procedures. And then uh, the tape, this is special tape, it's Kapton tape. And Kapton is a fire retardant material where normal cellophane tape uh, won't meet our, our fire codes. So we use Kapton tape. And I made this shape very specifically uh, because of surface tension and contact wetting angle geometries needed to make the cup. Wow. How much, like, how many iterations did you have to go through for it to actually work? Was it, did you, did you figure it out right away or did, or did you yeah, have to keep... Yeah, I figured it out right away. <laughs> and, and so notice this has a cross section of like an airplane wing. Yeah. yeah. Is, that, is that where you got the idea? And, and, and I think we may have some pictures here. Can we slide in those pictures? Oh, yeah. so, so there's a picture of me with this cup. And, and actually, I made like six of these. So this may not be that exact cup. Uh-huh. But, but you can see and, and look at that wacky, wonky surface profile yeah. there. That's because of this acute angle. And having an angle like this is essential for the operation of this cup. And it drives what we call channel flow. And can we switch that next picture in? Ah, so so this shows this shows the channel flow. So so here's here's my cup like like this. Yeah. Okay. And and you can see in the real cup you have a surface tension giving this sort of a hemispherical profile, and then because of this acute angle in this cross section, it looks like an airplane wing. The fluid climbs up that angle and parks itself right next to the lip. And that way you can throw your lips over this lip and you can sip the coffee or the tea or whatever. And it just keeps flowing until the coffee cup is empty. Wow. That's so cool. What was it like the first time being able to sip coffee in space? Was it just, was the Uh, sensation incredible? Yeah, it was, it was amazing. Now let, I've got a movie here that uh, let me just venture off into new territory. I'm going to jump in front of the camera and I'm going to start this movie and let's see if you guys could see it here. Okay. There it is. And so, so there you can oh, see. Oh, so cool. You can see how the liquid is, uh, the T is just climbing up the side and there's the, the end view where, <sighs> where, uh, where you can see that acute angle. And there's uh, Steve Bowen and I, sitting in the space station and we're sipping we're sipping our coffee and you see see uh, orientation makes no difference so you can hold it over the top of your head and you can drink these shades to dryness wow and so now for the first time we as a crew can actually have a celebration and a toast with our coffee and tea in a way that's commensurate with everybody on the ground wow that is just so cool but i wanted you to kind of see what this cup allows you to do in a weightless environment. 